Today we will look at four types of slopes. And with this information, you might not know if your answer is right, but you'll quickly recognize a mistake. So let's get started. The slope of a line is the ratio of the vertical change to the horizontal change. And in the previous few videos, we have practiced finding the slope of a line. And we've already looked at two types of slopes. First is the positive slope. And in this case, the value for the slope is a positive number. It's greater than zero. And when we look at this type of line, it's going to go up as we move left to right on the graph. Then we have negative slopes. And with a negative slope, the value is less than zero. And as we read this graph from left to right, the line goes down. So for these two cases, we have an increasing slope, or a positive slope, and a decreasing slope, or a negative slope. And it is examples like this that we have looked at in the previous videos. Now let's look at the two other types of slopes. Well, we have a line that goes up, we have a line that goes down. Well, how about a line that stays flat as we move from left to right? And we call those horizontal lines. Horizontal lines have a slope of zero. And we'll look at why horizontal lines have a slope of zero shortly. But again, this line does not go up or down as you move from left to right. Now let's look at that fourth type. Those are the vertical lines. Vertical lines, they do not go left to right. They just go straight up and down. And vertical lines have an undefined slope. Let's look more closely at horizontal and vertical lines. We're going to find the slope of the line that passes through the points 4, 3 and negative 1, 3. So we're going to find the slope of this red line here. Just a vocabulary reminder, when you see the word horizontal, you see the word horizon within the word. And the horizon is this flat line right here going from left to right. This may help you remember the difference between a horizontal line and a vertical line. So let's find this slope. And I'll go ahead and have this be point 1. So this is x of 1, this is y sub 1. And this is x of 2, y sub 2. This will give us, so y sub 2 is 3, minus 3, all over negative 1, minus 4. 3 minus 3 is 0. Negative 1 minus 4 is negative 5. We end up with 0 over negative 5. 0 divided by anything will be 0. So maybe you don't like having that 0 in the numerator. Well, let's try some different points and see what we get. Well, in this case, we have the point negative 3, 3, and 3, 3. So let's find the slope between these two points. So here we have m equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x of 2 minus x of 1. It's always a good habit to write your formulas. And now I'm going to plug in those values. We'll have this be x of 1, y sub 1, and this one x of 2, y sub 2. So y sub 2 is 3 minus 3 all over 3 minus a negative 3. This gives us 0 over 6. And again, our result is 0. The slope of this horizontal line is 0. Every horizontal line has a slope of 0. m is equal to 0. And this is what we call a characterization of horizontal lines. If you have a horizontal line, it will have a slope of 0. And if you have a line that has a slope of 0, 
it is a horizontal line. With horizontal lines, they're always going to have the same y values. So regardless of the points that you pick, since the y values will always be the same number, the numerator of the slope will always be 0, resulting in a slope of 0. Now let's look at vertical lines. And we're going to find the slope of the line that passes through the points negative 2, negative 4, and negative 2, 4. We'll label the coordinates for this first point. So we'll have x of 1 and y sub 1. And the second point will be x of 2, y sub 2. So for y sub 2, we have 4 minus y sub 1. So that's 4 minus a negative 4 all over. Then we have negative 2 minus a negative 2. This is 4 minus negative 4, so this is 4 plus 4, all over negative 2 plus 2. And this results in 8 all over 0. So we have division by 0. Division by 0 is not allowed, so the value of the slope is undefined. Well, let's see what happens if we grab some other points. If we look at these points, we have negative 2, negative 1, and negative 2, negative 3. So let's find this slope. We have slope equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x of 2 minus x of 1. Uh, we'll have this first point again be x of 1, so that's y sub 1. This one's x of 2, y sub 2. Now we have negative 3 minus a negative 1 all over negative 2 minus negative 2. This is equal to negative 3 plus 1 all over negative 2 plus 2. We end up with negative 2 over 0. Again, we have division by 0, and this is undefined. Vertical lines have the same x-coordinate. So when we find the slope and we're looking for the difference in those x-coordinates, the denominator will always be 0. Division by 0 is not allowed, so the slope of a vertical line is undefined. So every vertical line has an undefined slope. Let's quickly review when we have zeros in fractions. So we're talking about fractions, we are talking about division. So for this problem, we have zero divided by five. And on the right here, we have five divided by zero. So to help visualize this, we're gonna be looking at pizza divided by people. So for this first example, zero divided by five, well, that means we have no pizza, and we want to evenly distribute this pizza to five people. Well, if you have no pizza, you have nothing to distribute. So each person gets zero pizza. And zero divided by five is zero. Zero divided by anything is zero. On the right here, we have 5 divided by 0. Well, that means we have 5 pizzas, but we don't have any people to give it to. So how much pizza is going to go to no people? Well, that really doesn't make sense. And division by 0 is undefined. So 5 divided by 0, or any division by 0, is undefined. So without doing any calculations, let's look at each of these graphs below and state whether the slope of the line is positive, negative, zero, or undefined. So for this first problem, as we move from left to right on this graph, 
the line goes down. If the line goes down as we move from left to right, that means the slope is less than zero. This is a negative slope. Now for the second case, we have what appears to be a horizontal line. But looks can sometimes be deceiving, so I wanted to make that very clear that this line is parallel to the x-axis. And any line that's parallel to the x-axis is a horizontal line, so therefore our slope is equal to zero. And this is a similar situation on this third problem. It looks like the line simply goes up and down, but I wanted that to be very clear that this is parallel to the y-axis. Vertical lines are parallel to the y-axis, so this slope is undefined because vertical lines have an undefined slope. And then for the fourth problem, as we move from left to right, there is a subtle increase. The line is going up. Therefore, our slope is greater than zero, so this is a positive slope. A great way to learn is to practice on your own. We will discuss in a bit, but go ahead and pause your screen and do these four problems. For this first problem, this is a vertical line. It is parallel to the y-axis, so the slope is undefined. The second problem, as we move from left to right, this line is going down. So the slope is less than zero, it is negative. For the third problem, as we move from left to right, the line is going up. The slope is greater than zero, it's a positive slope. And then for this final problem, this is actually the x-axis. The x-axis is a horizontal line. All horizontal lines have a slope of zero. Continue practicing working with the slope of a line, and I'll see you in the next video.